Hey, what's happening, YouTube? You working with Bobby? Hope everybody had a, a great week. Hope the weekend go well for you. Hope everything blessed. Um, I'm coming back to you again today because it's time to try to address the brakes on this car. And then I also had found out on um, an issue that my best friend told me about it when he was here with me the other night. The I got a coolant leaking from what I think is the heater core. And I figured that I probably have to replace it. But whatever you guys do, if you got a, a car like this, one of these um, B-body sedans, you do not get to the heater core from under here. You will destroy your, your HVAC housing. Trust me, I did this 15 years ago in the first 79 that I had. But um, I'm going to address that later. Now that I know where it's coming from, I'll, I'll do what I got to do to, you know, to fix it. But um, I'm actually going, I'm actually, um, down the home stretch with this car. Uh, I got these bezels off because I got some um, LED lights that I was gonna put in here with the screws that hold the retainer um, rings on. They screw, they stripped out, so I'm gonna have to figure out how I'm gonna get them out without damaging any, anything else any further. And them buckets is super expensive, man, so I'm not eager or anxious to buy none of them. But, um. That ain't what I'm gonna mess with today. I'm gonna try to get it lifted up. That's why you see these boards up under the tire. And I got one in the front so I can put my floor jack on. This is something you got to deal with when you're working on dirt floor. So I got my three tons I'm gonna put on one end and the, and the big reds. I'm gonna put them on the other end, lift it up with my floor jack or whatever. Try to be safe as possible out here. Um, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna get, get the brakes straightened out on here. I'm gonna take the back wheels off but I don't have any wheel cylinders or shoes to put on it yet. I'm going to just take them off and do an inspection. If everything looks good, I might leave it like that. But I definitely got to address the front. So I got uh, calipers, brake pads, wheel bearings, uh, master cylinder, and a uh, brake booster to go on here. And I don't know if I'm going to try to bleed the brakes or not. I'm going to just try to at least get the stuff on. I might get my daughter to come out the house and pump the pedal or something for me if I feel like it. But right now, I'm going to just let them bolt soak because they ain't been loose in I don't know how many years. And uh, I don't want a chance snapping off nothing, even though I'm replacing everything. That way I don't have to fix no brake lines. So I'm gonna probably spray these again and then get the wheels off. And then um, I'll, I'll try to tackle it again in, in the next couple of minutes. Um, also, I know it's a little bit off subject than the, what the video is originally about, you know, with the brakes. I got something going on either with this carburetor, the way I may need to rebuild it. I could have bad gas. Cause it was a little bit in the, in the um, it was a little bit in the tank when I put it in. Or this could be the issue too. Look like I got a little bit of fuel leaking from that adjustment screw in the metering block on this carburetor. And I've been noticing like right here was a little wet, and it wasn't like that before. So that could be causing the issue. It might be dumping too much fuel in it. So I'm gonna check that out too. But I got some stuff in there from leftover kits that I can um that I can fix that issue with. Um, that's about it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put y'all on pause and get this car in the air and um, try to get these wheels off. And then um, and then I'll turn y'all back on and, and, and continue on with what I'm going to try to get done today. So y'all just stay tuned and bear with me. It might be a little bit of, of a long video, which I don't do too many long videos. But, you know, somebody may, might be doing the same thing I'm trying to do. Um which is get a car, you know, just safely on the road. I got performance mods in mind in the future, but right now I'm just trying to get it ready for the road so I can at least drive it safely. I'll upgrade, you know, the engine, transmission, and suspension, and all that stuff later on. But um, just um, stay tuned and, and um, bear with me, and, and hopefully you you be blessed by the video. All right, everybody, we back. We got the cloud on, off of all fours, not on all fours. And like I said earlier, even though I don't have concrete down here at, the, at you know at the at this at this point. Still try to work as safe as I possibly can. So I got my my three ton jack stands. Uh, I know you see a little gap or whatever, but it's, it's it ain't going nowhere. Sitting on the little control arm, and then I got you know the other one on that side. Then I got the big reds in the back holding the holding the axle up. So I'm gonna try to pop off these vintage wheel covers and. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spray, spray the lug nuts, cause I ain't trying to pop no studs off. The way you know it'll cause me extra work. And then I'm gonna, um, 
And then I'm going to go ahead and this one's going to be a tight squeeze working over here by this wall. But I'll turn the wheel if I got to. Got to do the best you can with what you with what God done bless you with. So I'm going to make the most of it. Do what I can to get everything straightened out and done. And um, I'm going to I'm gonna, um, get back with y'all once I get the the wheel covers off. So just, you know, just, just hold tight. All right, y'all, I had to show you this. It looked like these wheel covers ain't been off since the, maybe since the car was made in 1979. I mean, it was setting, so, you know, it don't take long for insects and spiders and bugs and rodents and all that to get in there and start creating places for homes. But I'm definitely going to let this here soak a good little while before I start trying to pop them lug nuts off of that air gun. But I'm, 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 I just want to address the, the bricks. I didn't necessarily want to rebuild a ring and all that kind of foolishness, pulling no axes out and stuff. This one had the most going on with it. But it's mostly just spider webs. I'm gonna probably take the broom and just get all that stuff off, and then I'm gonna um, spray it with. Got the WD-40. My uncle um, looked out for me. He got me like a whole case of that stuff. So, and, and oh yeah, on that note. Just in case some of y'all didn't know, this is perfect for cleaning parts. I didn't know it. I, I've been doing this here for a long time, and I always use stuff like brake clean, parts washer, um, you know, stuff like that to clean parts. But WD-40 is a really good cleaning agent. So just in case you didn't know, that's a tech tip for you. But next time I turn y'all back on, I'll have the wheels off, and we'll see how that look. So y'all just, just hold tight. All right, y'all. I'm back. It was a little bit of a time delay because I got my cousin car. I got to have to um, pressure test it to um, find out that the, the radiator is leaking on it. So if you don't hustle doing this here, you don't have no money for this here. So I got to do what I got to do. But um, I finally got the wheels off. And this is what we're looking at. Pretty much look like it ain't been taken off in a whole lot of years. Um, I'm going to spray all these points here, especially that back line. I, hope, I sure hope I can get that loose. What in the world? No one bolt done fall down there and got wedged in there. I don't know what this bolt was for. I'll figure that out later. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and spray these, spray the caliper bolts and all. As you can see, it does have a, a good bit of surface rust on the frame, but I guess that's typical for something that's this old. So Rolls don't look too bad. I might not mess with them. I'm just putting the wheel bearings in it. And put new pad, new caliper, new new uh, rubber line. And the other stuff that I told you about, brake master cylinder and, and, uh, and uh, a uh, uh, brake booster. This is the rear. I should have took the drums off. It don't look like nothing holding them, except for spider wheel. But this one was a little greasy on the back. So I might have either an axle seal leaking on this side, or I might have um, a wheel uh, signal leaking on this side, but we'll find that out when I when I get the drum off. I'll show y'all what the other side look like. I might be. Here. Let me set y'all down a minute. Let me set y'all down a minute, and then I might be can get at least one of these um, drums off so you can see. All right, we got on, um, we got one side off, so it don't look too bad in there. I'll probably go ahead and replace that wheel cylinder just to be on the safe side. But I need to find out on that other side if, if I got brakes leaking or axle seat, uh, fluid leaking. And then I'm gonna squeeze up here and show y'all the driver's side. And that's about it. That's about what I got to work with. So I'm gonna clean the spider webs off and soak it down with penetrate and all, and hopefully it come up apart gently and then I can get it on um, back together and bleed the brakes and have a good pedal so if I can't finish this video today I'll come back tomorrow Lord willing which will be Sunday and um try to get uh try to get it finished up so y'all just bear with me hopefully you're learning something hopefully I'm being a blessing to you and um you know just be patient with me and we'll we'll get it we'll get it settled out all right people 
I'm back on my car again and I found the problem. I'm gonna show y'all, let me get my light. Cause I don't know if this phone will cut the light on by itself or if, or if I need to have one. But I'm gonna go to the back brakes and show y'all what's going on. I gotta be careful cause it's gonna start raining out here. All right, you notice how everything on this side, which is the driver's side, looks sort of dry. Uh, no axle seal, no wheel seal, no leaking. Even though I may put some wheel cylinders, I want it just to be on the safe side since I'm doing the brake. But the shoes look pretty good. The drum look pretty good. But if you go over here to the passenger side, that's where I saw an issue. Inside the drum was greasy. So I say either... Brake fluid is leaking, or either the axle seal leaking, and that's what's going on. Um, let me get y'all turn where you can see in there good. If you can see there, right there, I'm in an awkward position, so it's hard to be still. But if you can see that, that axle seal is leaking. All that residue done built up right there. So it's not a big deal. It's pretty easy for me to do. I just didn't factor it in to the getting it back on the road process but i would rather catch it here than to than to catch it on the road test driving or whatever and then you know i end up burning up a rear or i hear the band starting to make noise because it's low in fluid or whatever so i'm gonna go ahead and wait the monday i'm not gonna try to mess with that tomorrow because i don't want to deal with them clowns in that part though so i wait till monday when the grown-ups working and go and get um, a price on both axle seals. I get my slide ha hammer from the dealership and, and um, I'm gonna go ahead and put the bearings in it as well. And I just go ahead and do both sides, you know, just as a safety precaution. You know, kind of like, sometimes if you, if you do something, if you do something on just one side, you really don't have a reason to get upset if the other side go out like two weeks, two months later. I mean, if you got, I got it torn down, it ain't ready for the road or nothing like that yet. So it makes sense to go ahead and just do both sides. And um, and that way, when I put it back together, I can I can rest easy knowing that, hey, I ain't got no leaks. So it's actually starting to get pretty, you know, get dark. It's raining now, you know, because I had to work on something else. And I had to help my mom do something for my grandma. So I lost a little bit of time, but it's all good. I'm always trying to do, you know, do something for my family. So... You know, it comes with the territory. When you're dependable and you're honest and you're hardworking, people know who to call when they need something done. But anyway, I'm a, I am ha done had these bolts soaking a good little while. I, I, I don't remember if I sprayed these or not. I, 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 yeah, I better go ahead and spray them. That's what I didn't do while I was working on that other stuff. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to spray the front, um, which I already done show y'all. I done sprayed these. Let me cut the light back on so you can see. I done sprayed these multiple times. I want to make absolutely sure I ain't got to fix no lines and that everything hooked back up like it's supposed to because both of these is coming off, the master cylinder and the booster. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit them again with that WD-40 and, uh, and then I'm going to spray these and let them soak. I'm going to wait on my wife to get down here because I got to put socks on the back of her car. So while all that's going on, it should get a good soaking. And then hopefully before the night is over with, I want to be able to cut the camera back on and show you all where I done did the calipers and brake uh, pads and, and the master cylinder and the um, brake booster. I got wheel bands for the front, as I said earlier in the video, but I may or may not put them on. I might just hold them for a later date. I ain't going to take them back to the parts store because I might want to put them on later. But if I get lazy, I ain't going to feel like pulling that road off. So, um... I'm going to cut y'all back on after I've got that done and hopefully be able to close the video out and be able to edit it and um, post it tonight so y'all can have something to look at tomorrow. I apologize that I don't have a whole lot of content that um, I can post, you know, to try to be a blessing to other people that's trying to do the same thing I'm doing. But um, I'm currently in the middle of, well, not in the middle of, my dilemma is sometimes I don't have a camera person and... A lot of the times when I'm down here working is after I done got off from Nissan and I got only a certain amount of time 
to get back home to make sure my kids is, you know, eat and get to bed on time so I can get them to school the next morning. So normally if you see me posting a video, I'm not in a hurry with what I'm working on. So um, when I cut y'all back on, Lord willing, hopefully I'll be showing you the new, you know, brake components on the car. So y'all just bear with me and, um, and like, like, you know, thank, thanks for watching or whatever. All right, y'all, I'm back. As you can see, it done got like black dark. Been trying to get some other stuff taken care of um, while I was down here. I'm going to try to give y'all a little bit of live action. I done got the two bolts off that's mounting the um, master cylinder to the brake booster. Um, only because I got to take the old master cylinder back as a core. I'm taking it off separately. Uh, and I'm going to show you what I mean by separately. I already put... I already put the new one together. Um, went ahead and bolted it up and all that. That way I can put it on there as a unit. This one came with fasteners and all that. And um, I mean, it, it. I hope it performs as good as it looks. I mean, it looks way better than the one that's on the car. But uh, believe it or not, I had to spray WD-40 on the on the the the, the uh, studs inside the car, like the the metal under the dash is is rusted. I think some water must have got in there um, while the car was sitting up under the tree. But um, a lot of y'all ain't never really seen me work. Some of the people that know me, well, I don't the fourteen. Some of the people that know me, they know I do this for a living. So, um, but not necessarily on these older cars. I mean, I do side work like that, you know, here and there when I can. But um, but uh, what I'm gonna try to do is just you know actually let y'all see me doing some work and see about getting this here off, and I'm gonna put them plugs in there and put it back in the box so I can get my cool money back. But um, thank God it came loose. I sprayed them enough times. I'm just grateful for the WD-40 working the way it should, cause I was afraid I was gonna have to um, you know, get lines or either get those little uh, repair kits which I'm kind of on the fence about using. I'd be worrying about them coming off or something, and then all of a sudden I ain't got no brakes. But thank God they, they came on them loose. I mean, they're real dirty, so I'm going to probably hit them with the wire brush to knock the rest of that rust off and then wash it off with some brake clean. Speaking of brake clean, I need to go get me another case of that from the parts store. But um, like I said, just wanted to, just wanted y'all to, to, to see me actually in action. I know a lot of times when I'm out here by myself, I have to... I have to um, do stuff and then show you the the, the, the kind of like the before and after. But um, but I just wanted to put a little bit of like I say, a little bit of um, a little bit of real action in. Oh, so that thing don't have a gasket. I thought that thing had to come with a gasket on it, but it don't. I know it don't look good. I'm glad it's coming off of here. You mess around with some stuff, mess around with some stuff like this here, and you hit the brakes and go, go slap through the intersection. Man, this here sucks trying to um do this at one end. I need to get me a hire me a cameraman or either get me one of them tripod stands or whatever it is people be using that's real serious about YouTube. Man, this y'all don't even fit. That's all right. Y'all have to deal with it at the park store. Cause it's going in the box. All right. Well, y'all got your live action. I'm gonna put you back on pause, and then hopefully I turn you back on after I done got the the boost off and the new master cylinder in place. Man, look here. I know I told y'all I was gonna try to cut y'all back on, or I cut the camera back on or whatever. After I had got the boost out, man, this thing healed. Man. This thing here was aggravating to get out. I done got tired. I don't want to leave the brake lines open all night or whatever. So I'm gonna at least try to put the new unit in that I was that I showed y'all in the um uh previously in the video, but you know that's what it looked like with everything out, you know, loose from the firewall and all that. It didn't want even, even want to come out of there. Well, I tell you what, it back then they must have put cars together with some pride, boy, because you ain't gonna just up and loosen nothing on some of these old cars. But anyway, um I'ma try. To uh to get the new master cylinder and booster, you know, bolted up and hooked up and whatnot, 
and at least hook the lines up because I don't like to leave them open, especially with with them bugs that like to get in there and clog them up and everything. So I'm going to try to do that, and then I'm going to just stop right there, and I'll do, like, another video, um, you know, with, I guess, the calipers and the brake lines and the bleeding process and all that good stuff because I still got some other stuff I got to do to this car. And my wife's on the way down here. I got to put shots on on the back of her, her um, car. So, man, by the time I do all that, I ain't even feel like looking at this car. So, I'm going to try to do that, and then I'm going to just close the video out. All right, y'all. I finally got the new brake booster and master cylinder hooked up. And you would think that these lines would have gave me the most trouble, but it wasn't. Got the new hardware that came with it. I had to add them washers on the back just for... I don't know, I just didn't want to bolt it down with just them regular old lock nuts or whatever. So I put some lock washers on behind them. Got my um check valve and holes and all that hooked up. Got my little, I don't know what this is. It's some kind of little clip that's supposed to hold these harnesses and whatnot up, I reckon. But I got those back into place. But what really kicked my kicked my behind was on the inside. Man, look here. Well, I was in here, it's kind of cool. You know, being the end of October. Well, shoot, I was in here breaking a sweat. I'm going to try to get the camera the way y'all can see up there. I know where I'm putting the camera at. Bear with me, guys. I don't have no fancy camera equipment. I'm using my phone. But you can see the two on this side and then that clevis pin. For some reason, the rod on the booster was maybe a little bit shorter than the OEM um. The factory one so i had to adjust my brake switch but it was all good and i got you know got them tightened up and whatnot and that's the brake switch there it's easy to adjust these you just kind of push them in a little further so i can make contact with the brake pedal um uh, uh rod i guess or whatever this is so it worked like it should but i tell you what man it was it was a fight getting in here in this tight space here and then i don't understand why the metal in the car was rusty, but it's all good. Thank God we got it done. Um, I'm tired. And my wife still ain't down here yet to get these socks put on the, the back of her car. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and close this one out. As always, keep on wrenching. Be blessed. Y'all be encouraged. And I'll see y'all on the next video.